All right, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome back to another FFT AI battle. On top, we have Hero Ball, and then on bottom, we have Scappy from uh, Stan, Complete Boy, Abaddon, and Bastard Poetry. So, yep. Uh, by the way, for Hero Ball, he has sent me, he sent me three uh, teams for this week. So this is his first team. He's got two more later on I'll be recording. So anyways, so for Hero Ball's first team, we have King Archer the Archer, Sir Lancelot the Lancer, Morgan Lepre the Priest, and Gwyneth of Mancer, the Geomancer. A little bit of a tongue twister there. Gwyneth of Mancer, like Guinevere. So, all right, let's go for uh, Bastard Poetry, or it's just a scappy. We have Bastard Poetry, the Thief, Complete Boy, the Knight, Abaddon, the Ninja, and Stan, the Man, the Female Priest. So, um, I was just thinking about it like a minute or two before I hit record on here. I was looking at the teams very briefly. Um, when I saw the feather boots on this priest, I was like, oh, that's interesting because you can get rid of, uh, there'll be one unit less from getting hit by Earth Slash. And if you noticed, this Geomancer also has a float. So what does this mean? It means that this knight right here cannot hit these uh, two females with Earth Slash. So only the two males can get hit by this overall. So, all right, um, right, let's go to uh, our small map then, 113, uh, Horror. So yeah, the the knight can only hit the males on Hero Ball's team. He cannot hit the females whatsoever. So, <clears throat> yep. Let's see how this uh, new team fares up against uh, the second place team for the AI tournament, Scappy. Ninety damage. Yeah, uh, a little unfortunate he missed. She's in critical. Oh. I didn't get a chance to see what her reaction ability was. I wasn't really paying attention super quickly. Um, that spell is probably not going to resolve. Uh, looks like a holy, holy spell being charged up. Uh, darkness does not hit the uh, ninja. Oh, Shiva though. Okay. Uh, ninja's dead. Uh, he did. He did get a turn in, but uh, he's low on HP. Um, Archer moved a little too far forward, so he's dead. Um, complete boy was able to get a win. Win. Uh, wow. Was able to get away fist off. I was able to fist her. <laughs> um, looks like that, that's got to be a cure one, but I don't think the summoner is going to allow that unless this geomancer can kill her off. No, and the darkness doesn't really matter. Uh, Moogle. Okay. Alright, well, that makes sense. Um, revival. Okay. Shiva, though. Priest should be put back down. Yep. It's a 2 on 4 right now. Um, Plate Boy just did a good chunk of damage. 100 HP healed up back onto the, the ninja, which is nice. I'm a little bit concerned because that priest, I don't think she's going to get turns up. She's just constantly healing. She's not going on the offense. Stan is just getting move MP up and just re replenishing everything. Mimic Darvon does stop the, uh, the charge, which is nice, so she's got a little bit of reprieve. However, oh, that's interesting. It cancels out the charge spell. All right. Um, Stan, the female priest, should have a little bit, um, should have enough MP to cast another spell because of move MP up. Charm, 65%. Now it is a five on one right now. This is, uh, this, is, this seems like a perilous adventure more than anything because she's going to charge up and kind of hurt her own uh, archer. Yep. Forgot about this Geomancer, my bad. Uh, nobody's dead yet. Uh, just doing damage little by little, but... Unfortunately... Oh, what the hell? Okay, that's interesting. I thought that the Charmed unit would actually hit her own units with friendly fire, so... Because they were Charmed, uh, because she was Charmed, she wasn't targeted by the AI. But it doesn't look like it really matters. It's, uh... It's a, it's a four on one now. Uh, it's a little bit too bad. It doesn't look like any of the reaction abilities have gone off whatsoever. Um, yeah, none of the reaction abilities have gone off, like, at all. So, she could heal up her 70, but she's just going to take 90 and die anyways. And then this Lancer, this Lancer's just getting stuck reviving this uh, priest. Uh, no helmet steal. Uh, 
Bet from Best of Poetry, the homage. Okay. Um, yeah, see, he's in critical, and he's going to die next hit. Um, I don't know what she's trying to do. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, the AI is, should be able to get that summon off beforehand. Blade Grasp is, does not apply. Oh, that is something interesting. Um, Earth Slash will bypass uh, Blade Grasp. So. Yep, so... Pretty clean win right there for uh, Scappy. We'll um, see if Hairball is able to bring it to a tiebreaker after round two. Yep. See you guys in, mo in just a moment. And we'll come back. Yeah. So large. They're a bit more spread out now. Uh, let's see how much of a difference that makes, shall we? Ninja, of course, will just be moving forward with all this high mobility. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh, I think I... Let me see something. Oh, okay, you know what? I'm looking at the text right now for the Lancer and the Thief. Their text has changed a little bit. It says it's a Scholar for the Thief and then a Paladin for the Knight. Uh, that's from another mod. I gotta change that text back. Um, I thought I fixed it already, but I guess not. It's just text. The actual gameplay is fine, so don't worry about that. <clears throat> okay. About half his life. Alright, that's nice. Well, the Priest... I don't think the Priest and the Lancer's combined effort will take him down the Knight. Um, no Confusion, because that would have uh, helped out a lot. Uh, a throw for 250 damage. Yeah, pretty fucking high. <laughs> Again, I think it's compatibility in addition to uh, the 50% damage bonus. Yeah. Yep, she moved up a little too far, that uh, Geomancer. 57% chance to hit, and it unfortunately missed. Uh, that reprieve is kind of necessary for Gearball to get a little bit of momentum. They've invested a lot of time into bringing that Priest back up, but uh, as long as she plays smart and she hangs back and throws out her spells as opposed to moving forward, I think she'll be okay. The Darkness onto the uh, Thief, which will help because his steal chances will go down, in addition to just his melee attacks, even if they're... Even if he pelts you for very little. Um, remember, this ninja has jump. He does not have any revival. So it's up to this uh, priest. And she's moving further away from her team. It's up to the priest to try to revive uh, Complete Boy, the knight. Wave Fist, she's still alive. Uh, I think this archer is dead. I think he tried to kill her. Well, that's okay. Because the lancer should be able to just heal this unit up. Alright, cool. Uh, hopefully Blade Grasp is able to keep him alive. We'll see. Um, she can get mid-charge and she'll probably die if it hits. Yeah, unfortunately the Blade Grasp does not come into play there. So basically the Archer and the Knight on both teams are uh, on opposite sides of the map. So both of them are going to die. Chances are. Um, yeah, so if, if they're not revived it's going to turn into a 3 on 3. Uh, Himito, uh, that's a little bit too bad from the Lancer. Um, he wasn't able to do anything with that. A guard, which is good. Uh, let's see here. That little bit of damage that she's peppering onto those units uh, is going to make a little bit of an impact when, you know, they're trying to heal each other up with single target healing versus a uh, multi target. MP switch absorbing that shot, which is really good. Um, Priest is healed up, which is nice. She's going to probably run away and use Moogle. No, she's. Unless she can get in the range. Mimic Dervon misses. Uh, I don't know if she killed herself. I think she ended up killing... Oh, she still lived. Okay. And she's in the range of Mogri, which is nice. So this is a single target damage and a charm. 65%. It does connect. It's not good. Uh, jump. Guaranteed damage. Uh, the only way it's not guaranteed is if you get Blade Grasp. Um, that Priest is going to now just uh, throw some magic. She's probably going to throw a Shiva. It's fascinating. I thought um, I thought summon magic worked against your allies if you were charmed, and you know, it's got to be that way. Like if you teach someone zodiac or whatever, and they charm them, and then they attack their units with that spell. But that's interesting. Um, well, yeah. Now it is a three. Yeah, it's a permanent three on one. Um, I don't think the lancer can do it by himself, especially if the ninja is able to d jump or land successful. Uh, uh, throws. He's got move HP up, so he'll have a, he'll have a little bit of durability. Um, 
this priest though, she kept on charging forward too much. Um, they're just kind of putting her down constantly. And with uh, Stan uh, being where he is, he's able to just charge up summons. Um, he's choosing not to for some reason. The rogue goes up again. Is it, we're gonna get a helmet steal? No, unfortunately we don't. Um, yeah, so the main problem I'm seeing right here is this Lancer keeps on reviving people constantly. You know, you're having the tank kind of do that job, then I understand. But at the same time, you kind of want them to sponge. Uh, this is the thing that Peter W., the champion, the tournament team from 2013, had. Without that revival, he was able to just get in people's faces and just constantly do shit to them. Um, this duo attack from the priest and the ninja should kill him off, and it doesn't. All right. It's got to be compatibility and low faith. Um, he's stalling for what time he can. Uh, the, I don't know. The Geomancer is able to stay alive, which is interesting. Um, I thought maybe the thief would get a turn off. Um, all right. So that Mogri right there is, for the most part, going to negate the damage of the ninja. It's got to be compat. And I'm not sure why this... Does she have silence or something? She's not casting any uh, summon magic. I'm, I'm very curious as to why she's not using summon magic at all. Um, the one thing to note is that the thief hat from this, or well, the, the hat from this Geomancer has been stolen. Alright, there's finally a summon being casted. Um, Hamido bait, uh, unfortunately, did not connect. 33%, he's probably going to grab the crystal, right? Alright, so I think they could still pull it off. But I think it's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, it's pretty much neck and neck right now. You know, if these uh, blade grass shots can, you know, go off just like that, they'll be able to survive. I think. Unfortunately, that 63% uh, did connect. 56, so it's one for one. It's a two on two right now. This lancer. Um, so you have two single target units, and then is she going to kill him here? That's the question. Nope, another blade grass saved her ass. Um, he's 130 damage. Okay. Uh, helmet steel, or are we going to get a charm? I mean, we do get a charm, 65%. Um, so, uh, this ninja should be dead with the next summon, but... Uh, see, here, here's the thing that I find kind of interesting. Um, it looks like she was using a Mogri while she was targeting everybody. Um, yeah, the blade grass and the low percentages are not triggering right now. And traps are not supposed to be there. Uh, I'm not sure how to delete them yet. Uh... But that's fine. Um, I, I don't know why she's like barely charging summons. It must be she has like low MP or something. That's got to be what it is. Um, it looked like they had a little bit of momentum there. It's just I think honestly the priest just needs to stay back. I don't think some magic uh, was really the answer here with like magic to defend up. I think magic attack up would have been a better option. Um, she gets an extra chance to survive. Berserk. Uh, I believe Berserk uh, negates all percentages, all, it negates evasion, so you should... Uh, it negates reaction abilities too, that's the other thing. So there's no, I mean, no Hamido's triggering. HP Restore onto a... This Lancer is really fucking tanky. With the HP Restore, if he, if he gets into critical, he's got a very good chance of just surviving. And remember, there's no Hamido triggered on uh, Berserk units. Hopefully she didn't move into the range of the Lancer. Okay, she moved out of range, which is intelligent of her. Um, if they hit him with a melee attack... Nope. <laughs> I thought they maybe hit him with a melee because he could have got HP Restore and then healed up everything. HP Restore is good on obviously higher HP units because it's a percentage. Um, Berserk. That was actually really interesting. We haven't seen Berserk for a long time. Um, this this Lancer... Ah, oh, he does damn it! Ah! Oh. The Lancer does not get... That's the keyword. He does not get fucking... Uh, he didn't get HP Restore. Uh, I think that honestly sealed the battle right there. He had a very high chance of getting in and it missed. He needed it uh, at that very moment. So, Alright, well, congratulations, Scappy. You have uh, attained victory 2-0. and And even though you didn't uh, win a single round, you still put up a good fight here, Ball, with your uh, first AI battle team. Yep. I'll see you guys for more uh, bouts uh, tomorrow and later on throughout the week. See you. Uh, see you until then.